everybody. I'm out here at the evening time to share my garden with you. Um, I'm going to call this my December garden tour because it's still early January. So this is not the end of the end of January. So I'm showing you my December garden tour and it's a little late, but I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you're encouraged. Winter is my favorite time to garden when it's not raining because I'm um, the weather is nice and temperate here in the daytime. It's like in the 50s and 60s. That's perfect gardening weather. You know, you're out there working hard and, um, you know, in that weather, put on a little jacket or something and you're comfortable. How are you doing with your winter gardening? What are you guys doing? Are you buying seeds? I'm getting my seed catalogs in the mail. So exciting. I'm trying to film the garden tour and the camera cut off on me because I didn't have any battery. These are my cauliflower it's beginning to flower these are the old ones that were over all the winter and it's quite a display isn't it you didn't know you could get flowers from your cauliflower and then these are my new cauliflowers as you can see they're smaller because my plant is running out of food so I got to give it some more food it's got some brand new cauliflower plants coming up so I guess this is cauliflower season for me my peppers are, are having a hard time with the cold. I hope they make it, but I can't guarantee it. Whereas my onions, on the other hand, it's like, it ain't nothing but a thing. The celery plant is doing great. Um, this is um, Trevisio. It's in the endive family, and it's doing great. The grass around it is um, oat grass. And then there's another celery plant. The kale's doing really, really good. All these, I can tell they need a little food because this kale is second year and it grows the second year and then it flowers. And um, it, if I had food, it could be twice as big. So I got to get some food to these so I can eat delicious kale all winter long. Um, this is just a perch for the birds. This is an old celery plant that flowered and passed away. And that's why I have all of these small little celeries around here because they came from the seeds from this plant. And this is the um, escargot that I, um, escarot, I think it is, that I eat all the time. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful red center to it. These are perennials. That's what it looks like when it's full. And this one I've just harvested and ate. There's another little one there that I've probably been eating the whole time too. More celery. Um, looks like a turnip green over there. And um, let's go over here to my little garlic patch. So this garlic overwintered. I didn't plant garlic this year. So these came back from last year's bulbs. That's, that's really nice. And those are um, blackberries. Over here, this beet. For some reason, nothing ate this beet last year, so I actually have a beet there. Um, looks like an onion. Something went for the onion, but as you can see, oh, okay, this is a new one I put out. That is, um, I forgot what it's named, something that the French use instead of um, onions, and they are a perennial in my area, so I'm trying to get it started. And the actual onions, are right here okay so those have already started putting up their stems for the plants so i just cheated you guys i just went to the grocery store these are grocery store onions oh no i got these from the um fair i bought some onions from the fair that other people grew in california and they're doing good for me this tall grass is oat grass and i'm actually gonna harvest some of that today because i want to um make some tea for my stomach and this is spinach here's a carrot that nobody wanted to eat so i guess over here people don't want to eat stuff and here's a, a green it's probably a turnip or no that's a radish yeah that's a radish i can tell so more carrots this is a carrot for those of you who don't know and this red thing right here that's a beet if i show you the bottom of it oh there's the beet Let's see, it's a big beet. <laughs> and here's some little beets. So there's some beets over there. And I'm letting those flowers. Oh my goodness, you guys. These are um, beans. These are fava beans. 
and it's looking it's looking pretty promising they are as tall as they can get this is aqua dulce fava beans and they've gotten really really oh my goodness there's a flower on my fava beans so it's fava bean season pretty soon they said the rabbits wouldn't eat that but i'm here to tell you my rabbit can't read and those fava beans got eaten halfway down to the ground several times so they are resilient because they grew in spite of that here's some more spinach i'm i just have enough spinach to mix with my um other greens and um this is the blackberry i gotta i gotta trim out the dead from my blackberry keep it in check and here's some more oat grass lots of oat grass Look at that, my turmeric is just now dying back. It's almost February and my turmeric is just now, the cold weather, we had a few cold weather and the turmeric didn't like that. So turmeric could be a perennial for you. This is some, these must be the fava beans that the rabbit ate because they're half the size of the ones. I guess that big one didn't get eaten. And here's some more fava beans. So I should be good for fava beans and spinach and oat grass. Um, and um, this is my berry bush. This again is responding to, um, these are California berries. Oregon grape is what they're called, I think. And um, they, they dropped their leaves. They didn't stay evergreen, so that's it. This is my wheat patch, which is dense. And it's starting to get a few wheat that are growing up tall. So that's promising. Um, these are probably the last of my parsnips. Whatever the animals didn't eat in the winter time, that's what's right here in this little patch here, which I will let flower because I love the flowers. And these are sweet potato vines here. Yeah, these right here are sweet potato vines. They usually, in the winter time, they die out, but this winter, they kind of stay. So they should be really strong. They should be really, really strong next time, next year. I should have some pretty good sized sweet potatoes maybe. And I don't eat the sweet potatoes, though, you guys. I eat these leaves. And here's some more. This cauliflower here actually got pretty big. Because this is growing under my papaya tree, it usually struggles to compete for the food. But it did all right for itself. I have to give it to it. And this is my papaya tree because I was just showing you guys down. But, yeah, that's the papaya tree. And let me show you. There's the lemon tree. That's where my other vegetables are. Lemon trees are not greedy. So um, I'm able to feed the lemon tree pretty good. And then these, these vegetables just grow right underneath there. And um, let's keep going. I'm always trying to plant cilantro here and cumin. And those are celery. Here are my collard greens, which give you a lot of food. But they don't flower here. So that's kind of sad to me. And um, there's one of my strawberry patches. I didn't see strawberries in my other, but I know that I just probably couldn't pick them out in the wintertime from the other berries. Here's my cabbage, which is going to flower. And there's another cabbage, which um, couldn't compete as well for food, but at least I got one big, beautiful cabbage. These are chrysanthemums, which I cut back. This is a California cherry. And, um, Here's another cabbage. And this cabbage is just now getting its its legs together. I had peanuts over here, but they died when we had a cold storm. And um, here's some parsnips. And this is another California cherry that grew from a seed. So I replanted it here so I can get a nice fence, a living fence. I don't like for people to be able to see into my yard. And this is what the raspberry patch looks like right now. It got cold enough for them to go and um, start losing leaves, which means I should get um, a good amount of fruit next year. And of course, my next project I got to do is um, cleaning up all the dead um, cane. See, like this cane here looks like, oh no, this cane, these canes right here are gone. Yeah, so I got to take those out. And that'll be fun for me. I'm getting healthier and stronger, so I love being in the garden. And this is my mint patch. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> and more spinach. The kale is doing pretty good, but the kale over here doesn't get enough food, so it's not strong. More mint. And this is a 
M Melissa or lemon balm and it does pretty good over in this corner here that's for your mind it's brain food and then this is just a flower bush that I like to grow it gets beautifully scented white flowers in the summertime and you guys that is my winter garden I'm so uh, it's so odd to me to see signs of cold weather affecting my plants because this year we had a really cold um, winter well I, it's still fall but it got down to the 30s and at night sometimes in the 20s so all these plants are not having much of a problem with that these are my lavenders that I started from cuttings and my sage pants doing good this time's doing all right another um, carrot that I have in a pot that I thought was gonna be eaten and these are a form of onions and another carrot <laughs> that is my bay leaf and um, some different herbs are growing there too all my herbs are in the carrot family you guys so cilantro uh, parsley all the different ones there and then there's something in the onion family so that's everything Glory! Jesus loves you and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.